Welcome guys, welcome to the 6th episode of City Skylines Industries So yes guys, we are back in the city What we are going to do today is basically the usual, expand the city a bit more And deal with the demand and the traffic I'll show you guys, I did a bit of work offline actually Right after I recorded episode 5, I fixed a bit of the traffic issue So I'll show you guys that to start off yeah, and guys thank you for all the support if you like the content as you can see that's a bit of the work i did if you like the content that i put out feel free to drop a like and a subscribe to the channel and like the video don't forget to click on the bell icon guys so that you guys can get notified when city skylines come out again guys thank you for all your support see you guys in the episode So let me just show you guys um, basically what I did. Hmm. Yes, I did like well, this part was already here. Actually, I added this route in and I added this route out and moved it from being right here was actually connected straight across here which was causing a lot of traffic for the bus so if they want to actually go down that route and they would have to come out and automatically swing back in or I can make that even more simple by doing this let's get that road there See if I can make this a bit. Shit. when I can with the traffic here. Eventually they would start to use that road. I just there's one just did. And they're now using that road to go. And that solved a bit of traffic. And those that use this is those that want to go this direction and those using this would be the ones who want to come down on this road. And yes, I did put on the night and day cycle. Just yeah, so a cinematic of the city in the night. So you guys can see how it looks. As you can see, the area was clear there. There's a lot of people waiting for the bus. That is actually next to us, the high school, so yeah. Alright, so <clears throat> hey guys, that's the city in an idea. Still having a bit of garbage issue up on this side here. Yeah?
We need some more industrial zoning. I take that as offices. I did in fact put on a new mod, the automatic bulldozing mod, so I won't have to deal with the abandoned buildings. That's very sickening sometimes. And this is how I dealt with the traffic that was here. I made this route so that anyone that wants to go here would not have to mostly swing across here. It's really that you would see one person or ten or six people swinging across right here. Now they would swing off up here from the side. Because what was going on was that all these set of people that just went there would have to reach down here and cross over this lane just to get on that side. So I eased it up and made them go underground and go around and cross that lane. It dealt with most of the traffic. This road always has traffic because that's... I have a stop sign there. This is the main road. Yeah, now to stop talking about traffic. We are still having a garbage issue down here also. I may have to put a garbage plant down here. Let's see how this industrial district up here is going. Move here. See, I see still. Ah, I learned a trick about that, is that I don't have the resources in the area. Just plot down some random trees. Make that look. Let's just fill up the area here. Alright, let's see if we can deal with some of that. We are at level 2 in our forestry park, so... Might as well add one of these, which I intentionally put this big space for. Slope too steep. Slope too steep. Seriously. It's kind of on a hill and that's... Uh, that's causing me a lot of trouble here. Slope too steep. Slope too steep. What the frig? I guess you guys would have to go up here. Look two, that should be enough. Hey, I'm still sitting on one million plus, so it's not really an issue. You can put two of these and two log yards. As you can see, we kind of did a bit of expansion there. I am not sure what I'm going to do with this area here. Yeah. 
yet. Eventually I would know. We do have some normal forestry on this side. I noticed from a video that I think it was someone else who it was another YouTuber I was watching playing industries before I started that the ordinary industrial would actually interact with the DLC industrial zones. So like you can see the um lumber, some lumber would come from here and go across to the area here and vice versa still need another industrial zone can in fact expand here or let's see what ground resources we have ground resources yes we have an issue with garbage and a lot of oil we have some farming on this side fertilized ground so you can put a farming industry just about here I'll wait for it to turn daytime so I can see what I'm doing <coughs> but as usual I don't know. let's see about the garbage by the way I think I have a resolution for this. Um, I don't want anyone going up to that road, so I'd put one coming out. Uh, so that if a garbage truck needs to come out from that area, it would exactly what I wanted to see. It would use that route. What's stopping the garbage trucks from actually going all the way through this area? And since I did that, I might as well delete that road there. should kind of ease up the garbage issue and just the zone that area Yeah, that's what's wrong. Not really supposed to be happening, but it's city skylines unless you have track manager mod, which I try not to use because sometimes it breaks the game. Like I noticed, noticed recently, I have it installed, but I noticed that it did. Um, when you take it off and you play the same save file, it would break the game. I noticed it. What it did it was it actually got a few cars stuck in position, and that was really causing a lot of traffic.
All right. So let's see about the industrial zone that I said I was putting in. I just missed the data. Let's take out that night and the cycle. Uh, Alright, that's kind of sickening sometimes when you're trying to build. So I got a bit of garbage rocket fuse. I'd put back on the DNA cycle after. Just a little small. And then when you zone this off as a district, do a regular farming district. On this side. Let's hopefully the power connects. Most likely, I need water. connected I might as well do this And then you can simply see about the water by doing this. And there's our first visitor.
that's a weird road there it's because it's kind of near to the dam it's kind of glitched like that Now we have a high demand for residential zoning. Because we need people to work in the districts, so what I can do, I can expand this district a bit down here. Seriously? I have to bulldoze your house because it's so then it's not as I expected it to be. What if I use like a freeform rod? The more code zone in there, but it would work. Some water first. Let's see about the water. have demand master I have demand master installed but I don't have it on for this episode it's on as you can see it's there that's not tampering with the demand right now this can be a park that's a very awkward space or park, so it would most likely zone. All right, low density on this road here. And then right some low density on that road. And 
how he's interested on here. That looks so cool that we have some low density on the hill here. And what I can do just to make that slope there look a bit more decent is drop some trees in. Oh, might as well drop some rocks. See if I can get the right rock here. Yeah. That's too big. That's a slightly too big there. Nope, so too. You, that's huge. Huge. That's massive. But it will fit perfectly up here. So one of these rocks just to make that hill look more That's a bit of slight detail in work here. Yeah. Those huge rocks actually come in handy. And I love the fact that you can build them within each other. I'm looking for like a flat. This will work, but it's too big. It can work. Uh, no. These are still huge. This one could actually, if I can get it perfect there. See if I can use one of the smaller rocks. That's the end of the episode, guys. I'm going to do some detail and look. Oh, that's tiny. Wow, that actually makes the this damn high rise building there. Seriously. Trying to adjust the camera so that I can see what I'm doing. So if we can get it to look like it's actually of the houses okay. guys let me know in the comments below what you think of this slight detail work here um, probably what I can put to improve the look A bit closer. Oopsie, just deleted someone's house. And another person's house just went kaboom.
Um, so we'd have greenery. Yeah, just to make it look more <coughs> mm. If you guys heard that, sorry, I just Unfortunately, I had to sneeze when I was recording uh, That should be it Just neaten up The side here I'll just get rid of all these trucks. The rocks look good down here, but up here, not really so much. Let's do some overgrowth and then some trees. much and this looks more like a uh, here yeah some random trees And guys, that's the look of the hill for now. I go a slightly middle mountain right here. Alright guys, so I didn't think this would happen, but we are setting on one. 2 million, not 1 million anymore, 2 million 485 thousand dollars and few hundred. But as you can see, we have slightly expanded the strict strict, having a lot of garbage issue right now. We'll see about that garbage issue in the next episode. Again, guys, thank you all for tuning in to this episode of. City Skylines Industries episode 5. Thank you guys. Episode 6. My bad. Episode 6 guys. Thank you for tuning in. It's been a nice game so far. I actually had another series but it's been nice. I actually got the recorder to work. As you can see on top you would see it's actually recording now. But I'm showing the time that I'm recording the video. But yeah. It's kind of good. The recorder is slightly working, but not as like as before. But guys, thank you for tuning into this episode. As you can see, we are growing and growing in our city. 
Thank you all for the support. If you like my content, feel free to smash the subscribe button and the follow button on Twitter and on Twitch. My Twitch link would be down in the description. <coughs> Where you can catch me going live on Twitch with some PUBG and other stuff. Today actually I'm going live around. Again guys, if you missed the previous Factorio episode which was yesterday, my new live stream time for Twitch would be 1 p.m. Central Time. That's again 1 p.m. Central Time, Mondays to Saturdays. So you guys can feel free to jump in and see me live stream on Twitch. The link would be down in the description. Okay guys, thank you for all your support. Ashboss is out.